Well, a few weeks ago, it was finally made official. Andreas Iniesta, the man responsible for winning Spain a World Cup and revolutionising the way midfielders play, has officially retired at the ripe old age of 40 after a long and historic career, which saw him win nine La Liga titles, four Champions Leagues and two European Championships, as well as the previously mentioned World Cup. And while that sounds incredible, and it is, there is no denying that the man who made other midfielders look like a dairy dunker trying to kick a football probably had people convinced he retired long. Long ago. In fact, I'll be honest, I didn't even know the footballer with the most famous dome since Pep has made the move to the UAE and that got me thinking about what other players there are from the footballing days of yore who are still fighting off the career grim reaper with a shin pad. Welcome to Good Sport Reviews and this is 10 footballers you forgot are still playing. Number 10, Lucas Podolski. There are many footballers who come to mind when you think of the phrase one with the left foot, Lionel Messi is one, I am Robin is another, but one who doesn't get the credit he deserves is Lucas Podolski, who is still going strong at the age of 39 in the Polish league for Gornik Zabra. Probably best known for his three year stint at Arsenal, which I'm convinced was longer by the way, Podolski has played for some of the biggest clubs in Europe, including Bayern Munich and Inter Milan, and has won 11 major honours in his career, including a World Cup with Germany and an FA Cup with Arsenal. His time in Poland has been mixed, with his first season averaging 0.53 goals per 90, scoring 9 in 27 appearances, but his most recent dropping to just 0.53. 0.26 with him scoring two goals in 10 appearances for the side, even though one of them was from inside his own half in the team's 4-1 win earlier this season. The attackers signed a contract extension until 2025, and we can see him hanging up his boots at the end of it, with him set to be 40 at the time. Number 9, Brad Guzan. The Premier League has seen a large number of underrated players, and in my honest opinion, Brad Guzan is one of the most underrated goalkeepers of the 2010s in the Premier League during his time at Aston Villa. Hot take, I know, but please comment, don't come for my house. During his nine years in England, Guzan featured for the previously mentioned Aston Villa. He also featured for Middlesbrough and Hull City during a season-long loan in 2011, and he established himself as a mainstay in the league and on the international stage, making 60 caps for the US national team, while the side boasted players like the experienced Brad Friedel and Everton number one Tim Howard. Since his free transfer to Atlanta United in 2017, the 2015 FA Cup finalist has made a major name for himself, with him recording the highest save percentage in the 2017 season on 79.2% and also winning the 2018 MLS Cup with a clean sheet during a 2-0 win against Portland Timbers. At the age of 40, the Americans' abilities have definitely dipped, with him averaging a save percentage of just 71.2 in the last 365 days, and he did re-rupture his Achilles tendon in 2022, which doesn't help, but he's still going in the MLS and doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon. Number 8, Jose Font. When he's not being a pundit for the Euros, watching Portugal gets slapped around like Florida in a storm, or playing for one of the most cult hero sides of the mid 2010s in the former Southampton. Jose Font is playing for Casapia in the Portuguese league, having made six appearances already in the 24 25 season. During his 22 year career, Font has played for 13 league sides, including Benfica, Crystal Palace, West Ham, and Lille, before making the move to Casapia in July of 2024, following his release from Braga at the end of the previous season. And he has proven to be an effective signing even at the age of 40 with the man who won the 2016 European Championship averaging 4.39 clearances and 1.96 aerial duels won per 90. And he's also shrewd on the ball recording a pass completion rate of 89.6% and 3.74 progressive passes per 90 also. We don't think Font will stick around for too much longer but at the time of this recording the centre-back has played a full 90 minutes for the past six games he's played and shows no signs of slowing down so Maybe I'm talking wham, but we'll wait and see. Number seven, Santi Cazorla. If any player deserves a peaceful retirement, it is Santi Cazorla. Seriously, the man has been through enough, and honestly, I thought he'd already retired. And was surprised to learn that the man who won two FA Cups for Arsenal and established himself as a midfield mastermind in England was still playing for boyhood club Real Oviedo, earning the minimum possible pay of just €91,000 per year. This season, Cazorla has still been managing to make an impact registering two assists and over the past 365 days the two-time Euros winner has been averaging 6.63 shot creating actions and 10.29 progressive passes per 90 showing that he still has something to contribute in this area of the pitch and he's also proving to be a shrewd defensive player with him ranking in the top 89% of tackles across the men's next 14 leagues which includes the likes of the MLS, the Eredivisie and the EFL.
NFL Championship. Cazola will turn 40 on the 13th of December this year, and while we can't see him sticking around for much longer, the former student of Arsene Wenger still has something to offer, and considering how close he came to retirement in 2017 due to an infected heel, it's a welcome sight to see. Number 6, Roche Santa Cruz. Roche Santa Cruz appears on many lists, one season wonders, Premier League cult heroes, players who transferred to Man City and got worse, looking at you, Wilfred Bonny, but one list I never thought he was going to appear on in the year of our Lord 2024 was players who were still active despite being the age of 43 and having been playing since 1997. Santa Cruz had that incredible 2007-2008 season scoring 23 goals in 43 games for Blackburn Rovers and has a career which spans over five countries, nine clubs and has seen the striker win five Bundesligas, eight Paraguayan league titles and the Champions League but he is currently scoring goals for Libertad registering four goals in 26 games in 2024 and he has spent the past three years at the Paraguay side winning three more league titles and two domestic trophies. On the 7th of May 2024 the former Bayern Munich attacker scored the equaliser against Deportivo Tarisha to become the second oldest Copa Libertadores goal scorer which is a true sign of how experienced the striker really is. Number 5 Wagner Love. While some of you may be scratching your 10 year old heads and saying who is this man you speak of or you know lit or whatever the kids are saying nowadays there are a portion of us old school FIFA 11 12 players who remember packing this monster an ultimate team and setting about as KSI would say using the pace to tear teams apart and believe it or not this man is still tearing it up in the Brazilian league with Avai FC the 20 cap Brazilian has played for a whopping 13 teams across his 22 year career including his most notable stint at CSKA Moscow a 13 game spell at Monaco and a short period at Michelin in 2022 he isn't playing as frequently as people mentioned already in this list with him only playing one full 90 minutes in the past five games so far and he's only scored nine goals in 39 appearances but honestly it still blows my mind that he's still adding to his 845 game career which has saw him score 397 goals and win 23 trophies including two copper americas and a uefa cup Number four, Victor Ibarbo. Just copy and paste what I said for the beginning of Wagner Love and put it in this entry, but change FIFA 12 for FIFA 15 and change pace for the speed of f light. Victor Ibarbo was the scourge of Ultimate Team in FIFA 15, and while he's certainly younger than a lot of other people on this list at the age of 34, he is still someone that some of you will have forgot is still playing, especially because he's playing in his home country of Colombia for Inter Palmeira. Let's be honest, the forward hasn't scored a vast amount of goals in his career with his high scoring season being in 2012-13 when he scored six for Cagliari but the striker has played for a multitude of sides following his rise in popularity in 2015 with him going on loans to the likes of Roma and Watford and venturing to multiple countries like Greece and Japan. He's only won three trophies in his career all of which came during his time at Atletico Nacional and while he is more well known for his time in FIFA it's still fascinating to see that he's still playing. Number three Arturo Vidal. At the age of 37 Arturo Arturo Vidal has nothing left to prove in his career, having won 13 league titles across six different clubs and also winning two Copper Americas in 2015 and 2016. But believe it or not, the former Juventus midfielder Maestro is still playing for both club and country, of him operating in the middle of the pitch for Colo Colo in the Chilean league and still adding to his incredible 142 capped international career. He's also still putting out terrific numbers in the next 14 leagues, with him registering 3.76 progressive passes per night and putting out terrific defensive numbers also from registering 2.73 tackles and 2.56 aerial duels won which are both in the top 85% of these metrics. We expect Vidal to continue at Colo Colo a bit longer given these numbers and because of the fact that he's still playing for his boyhood club but given the fact that he turned 38 in May we're surprised that he's still operating to the level that he is. Number two, Felipe Melo. Felipe Melo has always felt like one of those players who was always on the cusp of world class status, but the defensive player has never spent long enough at a club to establish himself as this caliber of player, with him not staying at a team longer than four years, which came during his stint at Palmeiras between 2017 and 2021. He's won a multitude of trophies across his 23 year career, but after featuring for the likes of Fiorentina, Juventus, and Inter Milan, he is currently operating for Flu 
Fluminense at the age of 41 and is putting out some fairly decent passing numbers, with him being in the top 86% of passes attempted and the top 90% of passes completed. Say what you want about the Brazilian league, but it seems to be the perfect place for the 22 cap Brazilian. And while Fluminense are currently 16th in the league, it's a credit to the determination of Amelo to continue playing at the age he is. And number one, Kazuyoshi Miura. Here are a few things that happened in 1986. The Soviet nuclear reactor at Chernobyl exploded, the Oprah Winfrey show debuted nationally, and Kazuyoshi Miura made his debut in football. Now, fast forward to 2024, and here are a few things that have happened this year. Donald Trump survived not one, but two assassination attempts. Thomas Tuchel has been appointed England manager in your face, Graham Potter, and Kazuyoshi Miura is playing for Atletico Suzuka at the age of 50 goddamn seven, giving the passage of time the middle finger while he does it. Everyone knows the story, but it bears mentioning again, with the former Japanese international having played for 16 clubs and making 794 appearances in his long career and winning multiple trophies over his long career. Now, to be fair, his best goal scoring season was back in 1996 when he scored 30 goals for Verdi Kawasaki, but he was actually a great player back in the 90s being included in the J-League 20th and 30th anniversary teams and being in the best starting 11s in 1993, 95 and 96 as well as winning the 1993 J-League MVP award. Since then he's broke multiple records including becoming the world's oldest active player to score in a professional match and he has the longest professional career in footballing history. Long may it continue. And that's our list. If you are new around here please make sure to click like and subscribe and let me know in the comments down below ideas for future videos that you guys want to see. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.